So in video number 40 of our math boot camp and in our geometry series, we're going to talk about circles. Pretty much everything you need to know about circles. And circles, along with triangles, are one of the more important topics on the SAT math section. So let's look at a circle. A circle is usually defined by its center. So we'll call this circle P, because it has point P as its center. And there are a few parts to the circle that we need to know. The first and most critical really to solve anything, any kind of problem, is the radius. In general, for a circle problem, if you can find the radius, you can pretty much find whatever else you need to solve the problem. So always look for that radius. So the radius is from the center to the edge of the circle. So let me get rid of that little piece right there. Uh, another part is the diameter, which would look like this, for instance. And that is through the center to each one of the sides. So this is your diameter. And your diameter is two times your radius, as you might expect, right? Your diameter is made up of two radii. Now, given these things, we could figure out other parts of the circle. Now, the circumference is pretty much the, per it's essentially the perimeter of the circle. It's how much, you know, how long is this circle, circular segment here, the circular part? And to figure that out, we just do pi, which is 3.14, you know, 159, whatever, times d, or pi, or sorry, or 2 pi r. Either one, they're both, you know, the same thing. And th th this formula, along with the area formula, which is pi r squared, are at the front of your, uh, at, at the front of each math section. Every circle also contains 360 degrees of internal angle right here, which you'd expect, right? Because you're, you're going from one place and going all the way back to where you start, that's 360 degrees. A few more definitions that may be a little bit more uh, challenging. What is an arc? Well, an arc or seg or sector, as it's called. Well, an arc, I should say first, is just a piece of the circumference. So this is an arc. Now, a sector is that piece of the arc bordered by these radii, essentially. Um, now. The number of degrees in this so-called central angle is either given to you, but let's actually make a new piece here. Let's say we had a circle like this. Here's the center, center R, and we have this sector and cutting off this amount of arc. Now, if I told you that this was 60 degrees, what would we then know about the length of this arc in relation to the whole? Well, if this wedge is 60 degrees, so this central angle is 60 degrees, and the whole thing is 360, then this piece must be some fraction of the circle, such that 60 over 360 is our fraction, right? It is some part 60 out of the total 360. Now if we do that division, we're going to get 1 out of 6. So that means this wedge is 1 sixth of the circle. What does that mean? Well, it's 1 sixth of the circumference, and it's 1 sixth of the area. So if I knew the circumference of the whole thing, let's say the circumference of this whole thing was 20 pi actually 30 pi. What would the circumference or the length of this arc be? Well, it would just be 1 sixth of 30 pi, which is just going to be 5 pi. It, let's say I pretend to know the area of this entire circle and it was 600 pi. Well, the area of this sector would be 1 sixth of that. So we would multiply that by 1 sixth and we would get 100 pi. Right, So you can use the central angle to tell you what fractional part of the whole circle this sector, or this pi wedge as we can call it, is. Let's see if there's anything else. I guess one more thing we can mention. This doesn't come up too often, but sometimes it does. Let's say we have circle n, and let's draw a line that only touches the circle once. This is called a tangent line, or tangent. And by tangent, it simply means, like literally, touching once. Uh, the one thing to realize about this is the radius, drawing a radius to that tangent intersection forms a right angle. That's just one little detail that might come into play uh, on certain problems, particularly hard problems. Uh, and that's pretty much all you need to know about circles. Let's see if I covered everything. I got diameters, I got radii, I have uh, an arc. Um, oh, one other thing actually I should say about arcs. Uh, we can measure arcs both in uh, you know, units of measure, so like, you know, in this case it's 5 pi, so 5 pi inches or whatever. Or I can measure it in degrees of arc. So in this case I can call this 60 degrees of arc, and that corresponds exactly to the central angle. So if we had another circle with 120 degrees of in the central angle, this would be 120 degrees of arc, and so on. So I got the circumference, I got the area, and that should be about it for the circle. Um, so 
that is going to be pretty much it for our polygons, and now we're going to move on to three-dimensional figures.